dear audience today our discussion topic is cottage micro small medium enterprise development or cmsme development bangladesh perspective let's see what are they are in the outline at first we would like to define enterprise and classify enterprises into cottage micro small and medium segments and come to the point the importance and contribution of cmsmes in bangladesh economy impact of covid 19 on cmsmes in bangladesh and what cmsmes are sector sub sector or segment where cmsmes are mostly exists sector or sub sector or location wise sme development policies cluster based cm sme development challenges facing by the cm smes in bangladesh finally recommending something to the government to the donor to the development practitioners for betterment of the cm smes at first let's try to define what enterprises are an enterprise the word Uh, in other words we can define a for profit business company or entity it is most often associated with entrepreneurial ventures it could be classified into different types for example sole proprietorship when an enterprise run by one individual for profit could be termed as sole proprietorship when more than one individual is involved with operations of an enterprise it could be termed as partnership an enterprise when it get government registration and other formalities done as an incorporation then it could be termed as an incorporated it could be a, even a single person company who is one person company in bangladesh in as well as in abroad as well so these enterprises or companies could be uh, registered under register of joint stock companies and firms then it could be termed as a joint stock company or as a limited company it could be private limited company with up to seven uh, shareholders and it could be a public limited company publicly listed in the share market and uh, traded daily so these are the primary classification of an enterprises so how industries or enterprises are defined in legal document of the government of bangladesh according to national industrial policy 2016 industries has been classified into separate category the lowest segment start with cottage that is uh, up to 15 family members or the family mainly leading by the family members with some workers and staffs and investment could be not more than 12333 us dollar uh, it is well it is worth to disclaim here that national industrial policy 2016 of bangladesh defined these categories in bangladeshi taka but for comparison purpose we have transformed the amount into us dollar because we will compare bangladeshi definition with some asian and global definition as well in the coming slides second category is micro it starts from 12000 uh, us dollar to 92000 us dollar an employee 16 to 30 employee in terms of service sector it is 12000 and employee up to 15 in terms of manufacturing industry between 92000 to 1.85 million dollar investment companies could be termed as small whereas 31 to 120 people are involved with it in service sector it is 12000.25 million dollar in terms of employment 16 to 50 employment are there for medium industry 1.85 million dollar to 6.17 million dollar 
And in terms of employment, it is 121 to 300. But for ready-made garments and other labor intensive industries, it could be even 1,000. In terms of service sector, it could be 51 to 120 people. So these are the in nutshell, the definition of cottage, micro, small and medium enterprises in Bangladesh currently. But previously in National Industrial Policy 2010, and even before it was less, or sometimes there are some segments who are not there. For example, if we would like to look at the industrial policies in 1986 of Bangladesh, then we can see only two categories there, small and cottage. Cottage are run by the family member, it is forever in 1986, 1991, 1999. In 2005, 2010, and 2016. The, come to the point, Michael. In 86, 91, and 99, this industrial policy micro segment was not there. It was introduced in the National Industrial Policy 2005 for the first time. And later words, afterwards, it has been defined. In 2010, uh, micro was defined as 6,000 US dollar investment to 61,000 US dollar, 10 to 25, uh, 24 people working. But for service sector, this segment was missing in 2010 industrial policy. Similarly, uh, in 2016 industrial policy, it has been defined that 1.85 million to 6.17 million dollar investment companies are medium industries, whereas uh, they can employ 121 people to 300 people. But for ready-made garments industry and other labor-intensive industry, this number could be up to 1,000. So from this small discussion, it is clear that Evolution of small uh, and medium enterprises in Bangladesh uh, policies is somehow uh, differs from the perspective of uh, policies while it was drafted. Uh, to compare with some selected Asian countries, we can define only one indicator here, for example, employment generation. Micro in Bangladesh, it is 5 to 30 employment. 16 to 120, it is small. 51 to 300, it is medium industry. But for labor intensive factories, it is up to 1,000. In Bhutan, we can see there is no micro segment of the industry. 5 to 19 people are small, and 20 to 99 people are medium industry in Bhutan. In Japan, less than 50 is uh, small and from 50 to 300, it is uh, can be termed as small industry, but from 300 above, it is medium industry. In Myanmar, it is less than five, uh, 50, it is uh, small and 51 to 100, it is medium. In Thailand, Less than 15, uh, up to 49, it is medium, and 16 to 200, it is uh, medium industry. In Turkey, less than 50, it is small industry, and less than 250, it is medium industry. In Vietnam, 10 to 200 people working in a company could be termed as small, and 200 to 300, is, it is medium. So from these particular definitions, we can say there is no uniform definition of small and medium industry, micro quarters, small and medium industries around the world. In some countries, the micro segment is absent. In some countries, uh, only small and medium segment is de defined by their respective policies. Let's come to the point how we can define small and medium enterprises or cottage, micro, small and medium enterprises. Uh, based on different indicators, Bangladesh defined based on employment size and uh, replacement cost without land and building cost. In terms of India, it is only capital investment. 
Malaysia defined in terms of employment size and sales turnover. Bhutan defined based on capital investment and employment size. Similarly, Japan defines uh, stated capital investment as well as employment size. Myanmar defines based on capital investment, employment size, and sales turnover, three indicators. So different parts of the world defined CM SME uh, policies based on different indicators. Therefore, we cannot claim any uniform definition of CM SMEs around the world. Now, try to compare uh, definition of CM SMEs, uh, mainly micro, small, and medium uh, in National Industrial Policy 2010 and National Industrial Policy 2016. We can see from 10 to 16 in manufacturing segment sector, micro industries threshold uplifted up to 61%, from 61,000 to $92,000. And small segment uplifted 121% times from 1.23 million to 1.85 million dollar investment. In medium, it was uh, uplifted up to 363 times. But in terms of service sector from 2010 definition, 2016 definition was reduced uh, parallelly. For example, a small segment reduced for 24% and medium segment reduced for 368 times in terms of replacement cost or capital investment. But in terms of employment, similar scenario is seen that in manufacturing sector, micro segment uplifted up to 6%, small 121 times uh, person, medium 364%. But the service sector reduced uh, as before. Therefore, we can uh, conclude here that uh, from 2010 industrial policy definition, 2016 definition reduces service sector threshold, but increases manufacturing industry thresholds. Now come to the point, how many CM SMEs are there in Bangladesh? Uh, you know, in Bangladesh, National Economic Census was conducted by the Bangladesh Bureau of Statistics in the year 2013. Um, at that period, uh, in 2013, our industrial policy was National Industrial Policy 2010. Therefore, the definition followed here in the Economic Census was as per Industrial Policy 2010 definition. According to the Industrial Policy 2010 definition, there are total 87.50% of Bangladeshi enterprises are cottage. That means Bangladeshi enterprises are leading by the cottage segment. Then uh, followed by small, it is 10%, micro 1.33%, medium only 7,106 companies, large only 5,250 5, companies are there. In total, there are 78 million economic entities in Bangladesh, according to this census. So it means uh, in terms of employment generation, in terms of debit contribution, the CM SMEs are playing a very vital role. It will be very clear if we would like to compare it with some other Asian and other countries as well. For example, percentage of enterprises, CM SMEs are the majority everywhere around the world, whether it is developing country or LDC country or developed country, CM SMEs are the pioneers. For example, in some Asian countries, 97 to 99% of enterprises are CM SMEs. In Japan, in China, it is 97%. It is uh, Malaysia, it is 97.5%. In Vietnam, it is 97.7%. In Singapore, it is 99.4%. Uh, 
So in Bangladesh, 99% enterprises could be termed as CMSMEs as per National in Economic Census 2030. Obviously, if we can conduct any a, a second census now, then the scenario will be the same. In terms of employment generation, SMEs are contributing a great. For example, in Bangladesh, 87.7% uh, non-military employment are generating by the CMSMEs. In terms of GDP contribution, it is comparatively lower in Bangladesh. For example, Bangladesh SMEs are contributing 25% of GDP, whereas it is 60% in Indonesia. It is 46% in Republic of Korea, South Korea, and 45% in Singapore, and 43.7% in Japan. From this perspective, we can say in export earnings, again, 42% export earnings of India comes from their CM SME sector. 41.5% of China and 26.3% in Thailand and 20% of Sri Lankan export earnings comes from the CM SME sector. From export earnings, from GDP contribution, from employment generation, every aspect, CMSMEs are the important segment of an economy. And these could be termed as prime mover in every uh, economies, irrespectively developing, developed or developing.